So during the war, this was where the uh, where the Nazis was were in Carré, the Kommandatur, and of course the Vesica Peitsches all over. They got written their fingerprints all over. It's a it's a former it's a chateau, not an old one, but a new a later one. So the funny thing is, you know, that the, the Nazis and the Nazi Templars, aristocrats of course, pharaohs, that they um, they uh, lived almost everywhere in uh, in former castles or in castles in France and all over. Isn't that funny? The aristocracy seeks the uh, the aristocracy. They give the houses just as they put prisons in uh, in Switzerland, you know. So I'm still in Carré. And talking about the other, you know, about, about the broken soul, you know, all, like the Native Americans and the Celts, you can still find a beautiful soul in the music, both Native American and uh, Celts. Uh, I know what it is, you know, the Swiss have been trying to do that with me too, 17 years of terror. But I'm still there. I'll punch back. I know perfectly well what it is, how it, you know, how it destroys your soul, how it destroys your, uh, your, your pride, you, they take away your pride, you know, your, everything. Not pride as being like a uh, selfish thing, but pride as being a, a human being, you know, that's what they, uh, they want to take away. Yeah, so let's have a look there and we can, we can read it. That is uh, uh, the Commandatur. Uh, there it says in English. Here in German. This is the, their language. Gaelic. Here in French. There's some, some stuff about the uh, Castle itself in Gaelic. This is the Gaelic language. Isn't it beautiful? So here too, everywhere. Uh, over the windows as well, we can see the basic idea, the sun hieroglyph. There, there. There's probably a lot more to see. What's that? An L and the C. I don't know. Here too in the balcony. Some funny symbols. So, yeah. Ah, so I'm standing still in front of the uh, the castle here. I met this nice Irish man here who's living here. And Called Eamon. And uh, I am going to tell you a little bit about the Red Chateau, or the Chateau Rouge. Built in the early 1900, but the man who it was built for died before he could move in, and his family moved in and lived here, and they were well-to-do, middle-class, bourgeois, French, or Breton people. And uh, I think one of them was also a deputy in the government, in the parliament. And uh, it was taken over by the Gestapo in, during the Second World War. And uh, it had a very nasty history, very, a lot of nasty stuff happened here, particularly in the cellars and whatnot. And uh, after the war, the family decided they would sell it, so they sold it to the community or to the government. It was a tax office. It's now a library and school of music. A lovely place, but uh, sort of a bit of mishmash of architecture sort of thing. It's not your typical French chateau. But uh, then they sold the chateau and they built the three houses here. This one, my house and the one next door, and the one after that, to live in. And uh, the daughter, or sorry, the wife of one of the brothers, the Lancian brothers, he died in maybe Buchenwald, or one of the concentration camps. He was taken away. And his comrade who was taken with him came back and married his widow, and they lived in this house sort of thing and so so the owner of this of the chateau he was taken to Buchenwald oh yes mm -hmm. or, or, or one of the I'm not sure it was Buchenwald but it was one of the ones oh. where he didn't come out of it sort of thing oh that's interesting I'm not sure I'm not sure of the name of the man who 
came back, he was a pharmacist. No, no doubt they were involved in either Free French or a Breton movement that didn't like Germans. And you only had to open your mouth. And they just yeah, yeah. got you in. Especially if you were an important person. Yeah. Or if you, if, you, if you didn't raise your arm high enough, you got arrested as well, like, you know? Well, I don't think, you know, I don't think they demanded anybody yeah. uh, do Heil Hitlers all over the place or all that. <laughs> this is a farming community. They were too busy trying to yeah. grow crops and things like that. And everybody talks about Brittany as such. They were sympathizers to the German cause, of course, because the Free Breton movement would have uh, been very interested in getting if Hitler had come in, being their own bosses, as opposed to being having to pay taxes to Paris and vote in the elections, but they've never had it, and they're always looking for it. Can, can, can you say something in Gaelic? Uh, it's Misha Eamon O'Martin. Balia uh, Atlia. Uh, Tome O. Shock to Kuig. Blina, I don't know what age is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 75 yeah, yeah. years of age. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I can say a poem in Irish. Yeah. And this chocked on sour. Ta laudal con quina. Is thresh in the field breed or doi me my hole. O cur me in my cowney, ni stoppy me quita. Go chassis me she si lo cunde me o. Wow, nice. <laughs> wow. I learned that at school when I was oh, about eight years old. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah, we tend to remember these things, eh? Yeah. We learn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. What's, uh, what's your name? My name is Sean. Sean? Oh, that's yeah. easy to remember. Yeah, well, it's an Irish name. My yeah. father's name was Sean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll turn it off. Bye bye. Yes, indeed. Au revoir. Canavo, Breton for goodbye. Slon lat. Gaelic for uh, goodbye in Irish and uh, Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen, Gestapo. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> so I'm entering the Gestapo. Oh, I can't walk anymore. Don't hit me anymore. They're going to drag me here in the cellar, you know. Oh, you bastard. Oh. So. Yeah, now what's this? Funny thing. Gestapo headquarters. <clears throat> It's probably where they shot people in the yard here. Probably use it for a couple of movies. Oh, there was a nice place to put my tent. Would have been a nice place. So, Gestapo headquarters in Guy. And they're always. Oh, in these uh, pharaonic, aristocratic mansions or chateaus, uh, castles. That's funny. It's real funny. I wonder if the guy really went to Auschwitz or to Buchen Buchenwald. I don't think so. There were no aristocrats in Buchenwald. Forget it. Well, the old man, yeah, he's honest, of course. Nice Irish man. So can you imagine, you know, like 70 years back only, being dragged in the cellar here, you know, with the Freemason Triangle on the roof as well. It's loads of them. There's another one there. Of course, nobody knew then. Well, they did. And all these SS cars here and Gestapo cars here and cars with swastika on it, you know. I, th I think I saw it in some movies, maybe the D-Day movie or something. Yeah. And look at this here. All these things here in the gate. Sort of a fleur de lis. Yeah. 
here. G. Okay. Sick Heil, Gestapo. And sick it is. Sick Heil. <laughs>